it comes to cooking and sauteing vegetables, uh, we try to avoid the added oils. It's because oil is the most calorie dense food you can eat. It's 120 calories per tablespoon and there's none of that fiber or nutrients that you get from the actual whole food. So instead of eating the olive oil, it's best to eat the olives. Um, same thing with the other types of oil. So when you're cooking and you're trying to saute an onion, um, let's say it calls for a tablespoon of oil, just replace that with a tablespoon of vegetable broth instead, or water, and add more as needed. Uh, this brand is good, it's uh, low in sodium, and it's all uh, vegetables with no uh, added sugars or oils. When it comes to baking or making anything with flour, make sure you look for something like a 100% whole wheat flour, or if you don't want to use um, wheat, there's also whole grain brown rice flour, uh, there's almond flour, and if you're looking to replace an egg in a baked dish, you can try uh, mixing flaxseed meal with some water. The instructions are usually on the back of the um, you know, one tablespoon flaxseed meal mixed with three tablespoons water for each egg needed, which is a great substitute. Um, and there's also whole grain uh, corn meal as well. Spices are another way to great, a great way to add flavor to your whole food plant-based dishes. Um, look for the ones that are just, you know, one ingredient spice, or if you're looking for a spice mix, you can get salt-free options. Um, and in some stores, they also sell nutritional yeast, which adds a great cheesy flavor to foods. If you're looking for a healthy breakfast, a good place to start is the oat aisle. You can do uh, steel-cut oats, which are um, one of the less processed forms of oats. And you can also do the old-fashioned rolled oats, which are another great addition. Um, just make sure you avoid the instant oats. They're more processed and uh, they'll give you more of that blood sugar uh, spike and subsequent crash. So steel cut oats and rolled oats are great and you can add your own fruit and nuts and flavorings, cinnamon and stuff to it. Now we're in the non-dairy milk section of the store. So there's all different varieties nowadays. There's almond milk and cashew milk and soy milk, coconut milk, flax milk, walnut milk. Um, just make sure uh, the main thing to look for when you're looking at a non-dairy milk is make sure it's unsweetened. So a good example, um, if you're looking at soy milk, like this is organic soy milk um, with no added sugars and it's fortified with some vitamins as well. Um, you can check, uh, there's also unsweetened vanilla, uh, almond milk and cashew milk. Lots of varieties. If you don't like one, make sure you try different ones and see if you like another one better. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour. If you have any other questions, just check out the Better You website or the Healthy City website for more information.